you ever wondered what the life of a childhood cancer patient is like? By choosing to lose your locks at a public awareness Hair for Hope event, you can experience a small part of it. For cancer patients, the decision is taken from them as the chemotherapy treatment causes them to lose all their hair. Their appearance is a cause of distress, especially for some childhood cancer patients due to taunts and insults from classmates. A few childhood cancer patients share their experiences with us. For me, it was emotionally difficult because I had everything before I was diagnosed and I had my dreams of blossoming as a dancer and my results were good. I was doted on by everyone in the family. After I was um, diagnosed, it was really difficult for my mom, especially, and my brother because my mom had to juggle between a rebellious teenage son and a daughter who was ill. When I was diagnosed, I couldn't go to school. I had to be under needles every day. I couldn't study, um, which I especially like as, as a child. And even the books I read had, read had to be um, limited. The worst part was to accept that I couldn't be a dancer after that and couldn't enjoy dancing anymore. And I had to go without my hair after a while because the treatment would make you slowly lose your hair. When I returned to school for about three weeks, it was horrifying to say the least because everyone sort of ostracized me. At the age of preteen, it wasn't so easy because you'll be wanting a lot of friends and there, there's a, there isn't anyone who wants to talk to you and people are laughing behind your back and, you know, saying things like, why is she so fat and... Like, why is her hair bald and everything? She looks so weird and everything. And certain things that you do, you wouldn't realize that you are irritating people and everything. Because, you know, when you're having treatment, your mom would be especially nice to you. Like, trying to give way to you in every way. So, you wouldn't really know what's, what, what you're doing wrong and everything. So, that three weeks was really horrible for me. And even though I had really wanted to go back to school, I... I really didn't want after that. Usually, when a child is born, he's led to... The walk around, explore the world. But to me, I was in the hospital, so I didn't know much about the out- outside world until I went to school. And even after they have recovered, the memories still traumatize them. For Deborah, the thought of having to shave her hair still haunts her. I was very sad because well, I, it will remind me about the things that I've gone through, and I don't want to shave my hair because thinking about all the injection that I don't, which I don't want to think about that because. It's like, I feel like I want to cry and cry and cry non-stop. But for all the hurt and painful memories childhood cancer patients endure, there's still good that comes from their experience. All my friends in CCF, um, we're called Youthcom. All of us are, I can say, more mature than other kids. We empathise more easily, we understand others more easily, and we don't judge people by just their appearances or their past or we just accept them for who they are and it also matures us in a way we understand our parents better because we know what they have been through for us the sacrifices they've made so yes definitely it matures us a lot and is there anything members of the public ought to know this would let everyone see that even though you're bald you are not different from others you just have a lack of hair you know it's just different like you know maybe I want a different hairstyle today so you know the public can come in and you know when they shave their heads they'll see oh cancer kids are they are the same. You can find out more about the cause at the Children's Cancer Foundation's website and check out the next clip for more on Hair for Hope.